best day of my entire life. Hey everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be choreographing my solo for nationals. Last year, I created a solo called Bright Lights in two weeks and I did a vlog about it. I did that solo for nationals and then I did it this whole season. Now the dance season is over and what we have left is nationals. So that means it's time for a brand new solo that I'm going to be choreographing again. Rachel has wanted a Travis Wall solo since she was probably 12. After COVID, I talked to Travis about doing a solo for Rachel. Today is June 1st. I am about to start my brand new solo. Don't mind how sunburned I am. I actually went to the beach yesterday. I'm down here in the basement alone. I like to turn on all our LED lights and really get in the zone. Last year, I was in the teen division, but this year, I am now in the senior division. They expect a lot more maturity. We are going to the dance awards in Orlando this year. I'm like so excited but also so nervous and intimidated today we're gonna to be working on the start of the solo the first impression let's go into studio one so this is our main studio where we rehearse like our solos and stuff this is where I'm gonna be creating my solo and we have our LEDs which I'm gonna turn on I'm not sure which color I want to do maybe I should do like a red Okay, yeah. I think I'm just gonna to listen to the music a couple more times and start thinking about where I want to start it It's like 2.30. I'm about to invite my mom to come down and see the very beginning. She's super honest and like I love it because I need it for the solo. I'm gonna set up a camera so that you guys can see her reaction. <laughs> it's good. It's just you're really. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Can I see it again? You need to be a better choreographer. Caroline. We are in the car right now. It is 6.39. This morning we left our house at 5.30 because we're going to take a class in New York City. There's morning traffic so that's why we had to leave so early and the class is at 8 a.m. which is pretty early. It's just me and Caroline and our mom. In June of this year he was coming to New York to do some work. This was a surprise for Rachel's birthday and she had no idea that this was coming. So we're here at Sydney. <laughs> I think our mom made a mistake. She's checking with the front desk. The day she was supposed to get her solo, we rented a studio at Gibney for like four hours. And the plan was to tell Rachel that we were doing a private class. We got there and nobody was there because Travis was actually sick that day. Travis texted me once we were already there that he was not feeling well and he was so sorry. I had already rented the studio and it couldn't be changed and we were there. And Rachel thought I was basically losing my mind. I said some surprise. What? <laughs> Guys, one time we went to do our solos and then we found out that they had ended the competition early and we literally drove like four hours, Two hours. from New York. We didn't even do our solos. There was part of me that just wanted to give up and tell her the true story because I didn't know how much longer I could make it believable. So we're just gonna work on killing solo restless. So I didn't work on my solo all week because I had protege New York City and other things. Here's Caroline, she's filming stuff. I'm wearing a black leotard and black tie and pants. Boom, boom. Rachel just worked on her new solo some more and maybe a little bit on Caroline's solo that she had choreographed. I think she filmed a reel, but four hours was a long time to fill up a studio space. She called me while they were working in the studio and she's like, what do I do? And we like talked for a long time trying to figure out like a plan. Travis called me later that day, rescheduled for the next day. We had no idea what we were even gonna tell Rach to come up with another lie to get her to go pick him up at the train station and bring him to our studio. She thought she was just coming to like help with the vlog, have more people, and then I had the camera ready. Actually, 
in the opposite direction that we were facing and we like turned around and I immediately like got the camera ready and Rachel was just shocked. And I don't even think she realized that first. She thought he was just there and happened to say hi. She had to put it together slowly what was actually happening to her. <laughs> the whole family is literally here. <laughs> Rach, how do you feel? about to start her rehearsal with Trav on herself. Trav is well as at HHB right now. I'm so jealous. But I'm also really nervous for her. That would be... I would forget every time. Good luck, Rach. You're gonna need it. This is amazing. Like, I can't believe this is happening. Michelle stayed at the studio with Rachel and Travis because she knows everything about the music and teaches there. Halfway through my solo. Yes. Get that sweat. It's like... <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. Gotta get that stamina. Is that water? Mm -mm. <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah. was probably the best day of my entire life. Time stopped and I was in complete shock. My sisters decided to make this big lie to me that we were gonna go shoot with this other choreographer who we've worked with in the past, we're good friends with him, and we're gonna go pick him up at the train station at Newark. We got to the train station and then I turn around and I see Travis Wall walking towards me with open arms and I was like, why is Travis Wall here? At first I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like we're running into Travis Wall at the Newark train station. I give him a hug and he's like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm doing good, how are you? And I feel like that's when it kind of started to hit me. Wait, maybe this isn't a coincidence. Once we started walking to the car, I knew exactly what was happening and I was freaking out inside. We sat down in the car and for the whole ride, I was shaking. On the way to the studio, he gave me his AirPods to listen to the music that he had selected. The biggest part of the song exploded in my ears. My jaw literally dropped. Like you should have seen me, I was like, I was so excited when I heard that music. We took some photos and then we got in the studio. I warmed up a bit. It was just me and Travis Wall, one on one. We started working on the choreography. We started like piecing the whole thing together. I was like, I hope I'm doing good. There's something about Travis that kind of brings out the very best in you. Like he brings out the best version that you could ever possibly be. It is the hardest and most tiring solo I've ever done. If you guys have seen Defiance, I thought that was so hard, but this solo is on like a whole other level. He just pushed me so much to use every inch of like my space. The first ever class that I took with Travis Wall in 2016, I was a mini. I completely fell in love with his choreography and like how much passion he brings. People are not joking when they say he is a genius and I've missed his classes and I missed his work. Thank you so much to my mom for setting this whole thing up. This was a huge dream of mine that finally came true and thank you to my sisters for like going along with this whole plan they brought me like extra shirts extra leotards they also packed fake lunches just to make this whole story so real after i finished the travis wall solo i came home so hungry and exhausted i ate some dinner and i immediately came down here to the basement to start working on it today is june 9th and this morning i marked through it later in the afternoon i started running parts of it full out. I still mostly have to do it in two chunks. Right now I'm really trying to build my stamina. Thank you so so much to Travis Wall for coming out to New York and for making my dreams come true. I'm just gonna keep working on it every single day. It's Monday, it's like 7.15. I just had a full day of Zoom classes. Yesterday I hit my head. I'm gonna do my solo and Michelle's gonna watch. I'll probably just run it like once or twice because I'm really tired. Alexa. What is today? Today is Tuesday, June 14th. That. Tuesday, June... Wait. Alexa. Tuesday, June 14th. And another really long day. Right now it is 8.45 and I'm in the basement. I just ran my solo. Jillian, Michelle, Savannah, and my mom all came down and watched it. Right now we're actually trying to figure out the costume. Travis wanted these pants. They're like really flowy at the bottom. So like... 
and they're also mesh. One of these days I need to film it so I can show you guys the progress. Maybe I'll film it tomorrow. I'm probably gonna get ready for bed. I gotta go drink lots and lots of water, take a shower and go to bed and do it all again tomorrow. <laughs> vlog. Today is June 17th and it's currently 9.34 in the morning and I'm down in the basement. I don't think I'm going to do it full out yet because I'm obviously not warm. I think my stamina is actually getting better. Also on costumes, we are picking a bunch of leotards. We're not really sure which one I'm going to wear. My head is looking a lot better from Sunday. I think I need to clean up the basement a little bit. I have my notebook here. Pretty soon I'm gonna start like writing down corrections and things I wanna fix in my solo. Actually, Joe Zabella gave me this notebook. And this is the outfit. <laughs> I think I'm gonna watch it right now on the TV and write down some corrections. My hip is kind of hurting this morning. I don't wanna like push it when I'm not warm. Today is Saturday, June 18th. I'm about to start working on my solo. I think it's almost like one o'clock. I'm probably gonna go over and try and fix some of the corrections I made in my notebook the other day. Here's the outfit. Black leotard, black pants, and black socks. It's the same every day. right now this is the aftermath of running my solo for like a bunch of hours it's feeling a lot better i was really working on the second half that part is a lot harder stamina wise tomorrow i'm gonna take the day off because it's sunday but then i think monday i'm gonna work on it a ton it's super important to take days off and i know some weeks like it's not possible to take a day off schedule's too busy but really like i try and get one day off a week Today is Monday. Right now it is 7 o'clock. I actually just finished my solo rehearsal with Michelle. Today was our last day of cleaning. This is probably going to be like one of my last times doing in the basement. Sorry for my like really crazy hair. Tomorrow we're actually going to go to HHB because I'm doing it on Wednesday. So that's really soon. So I need to figure out what I want to wear. And thanks again Michelle and all her work on it. It would definitely not be as clean if she hadn't been down here. Tomorrow we do it in studio and then Wednesday on the stage. So try not to think about it too much. I hope that it goes well. I will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow at HHB. Today is June 28th. It's Tuesday here at HHB. We have so many things that I'm gonna try it today. A bunch of leotards, a bunch of different socks. But this is the first option, it's from Keith Link. And I'm wearing my hair in a ponytail because I think that's what I wanna do. Michelle's here like always, and my mom. Again, the leotards are from Keithling, and these socks are from Capizio. They have grips. Ah! Me? No, not me. I don't know what I'm saying. Bye. Six on your feet. Keep left to stay on. Hey guys, Caroline. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Therapy, <laughs> dementia. <laughs> Can somebody fund us for her therapy? <laughs> Can we just take these off? Well, we zoomed in. <laughs> Good. I know the whole family is coming. Who's that? I hope you're honored. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> Yay! I'm bad at this. <sighs> like, mm, ah, like, oh. So.